You've seen Craig Robinson for many seasons on The Office and in hit movies like Hot Tub Time Machine, Pineapple Express, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, and most recently, This is the End, the movie that will go down in history as the lack last blockbuster video ever rented. Uh, did you know that, Craig? Did you hear that news story? Oh, hold on. Hold on. That was a beautiful introduction, yeah. except his microphone is not on. That piano is live. Though. I'm going to let you just keep playing because no one plugged in your microphone. Beautiful piano playing, though. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, I, yes, I did know that. I, I heard about it that day, and uh, who knew, right? And well, it, it's so apropos, right? It apropos. Was. Apropos. Oh, apropos. The, the, so it was in Hawaii, which of course is the latest time zone in the United States. Oh, see, I didn't realize that. The very last blockbuster. Obviously, they want you know they wanted to make a thing out of it uh, because they were going down in flames like the Titanic. If you could have a last word, and the person who walked in and rented the very last video, rented. This is the end. This is the end. Yeah. I haven't seen that. Should Great I? Great freaking movie. It's a it's a fun it's a fun romp. It's a, I, I, I surely we I enjoyed making it. We enjoyed making it. Three months in Nolens, Louisiana. So uh, and if you can imagine that crew of people together just running that town, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Craig Robinson. It was a Pedro who said, "Let's let the piano be set up for Craig, so he's nice and warm and comfortable when he sits down at the piano." Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> Can you do Michael? Wow. That's my best uh, impersonation right there. Uh, it's fantastic, and I I heard every word clearly. I, I, you, First time, too. Yeah. I never knew that was lyrics. When, uh, when, how much time did you actually spend learning the piano? Because you're not just hacking at it. You're pretty good at it. Thank you. Um, my, you know, I... I I was learning in the womb. My mother is a she's a musician, very accomplished musician. She uh -huh. was first chair cello in college and uh, minister music at church and stuff like that. So, oh, so you I, had religion and music growing yeah, up. Yeah, and I came, I came out like on the piano. So, wow. that's what do, do you know spiritual stuff like uh, oh, oh, happy day and things like that? Yeah, I love that. You have to sing alongs at your house on Sunday. Oh yeah. When Jesus won. Yeah, when Jesus called. When Jesus won. He washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, do yeah. Oh, Hitch and Gaze by Gay <laughs> Marriage. We're Hitch and Gaze oh, now. Hitch and Gaze. Hitch and Gaze. All the lyrics come up with, with a not swishy walk. Friendly. We're hitching <laughs> with <swishy> walk. Yeah. <laughs> It's beautiful. Uh, wow, cool. So the music is a huge part of your life. Uh, when you started to gravitate to uh, being funny and acting and all of that, was that was it encouraged by your mom, or did she was she uh, like initially some people would be alarmed by that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I remember my father having a talk with me when I when I and this was one of the first times I must have been about nineteen years old. And I started to look at comedy different. I was like, I, I was going to the comedy clubs and you know really thinking that this had uh, how old now? Had an, I, I must nineteen or twenty. Somewhere yeah, around just there. just as soon as you could. Yeah, I was I was in college, you know, and uh, and I started to think I could uh, uh, do this, you know, and, and I was you know naive enough to think that. And I started I was going to the comedy clubs. I must have been twenty one then. Anyway, um, and my <laughs> well, you were nineteen, but let's <laughs> smooth over that really fast. And yeah. my father was like. Uh, and he he would tell me like you know you know, no this is what happened I wasn't going to club. My father said to me because I played so much I was always some always like being silly could never just be serious. 
and my father said, hey, you know, people get paid to, to be silly all the time. <laughs> You're like, gonna be a he smart. did. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. Like, he meant it to have the whole opposite effect. And I was like, wait, really? He was like thinking, you know, you're just you're just silly. This is a waste of time for you. The people exactly. who are really good at it are getting paid, and you went bingo. That's what bingo. I'm going to do. Bingo. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's and I, start, and I wow. started taking a look at it, and uh, and then in college it was it was really like uh, I felt like I, it, it just overtook me. I was I was doing bits, and I didn't know they were bits. You know, people repeat things to me. Oh, uh, uh, I was trying to tell somebody what you were saying about this, and and they were like, oh, don't get into a you know contest with Craig, and, and I was like. I was I, I didn't have recollection. I was just like, really, this is happening. Would you say you're a natural at it? That would that would probably be a best way to describe yeah, it's just, it. Yeah, no, it's like breathing for you is to constantly make analogies, come up with bits and ideas, and just express them. Exactly. You know, we've been promoting Craig that you'd be on our show and that you'll be at the Parlor Live in Bellevue this weekend quite a bit. And we got an email from somebody uh, from your past that actually was in the. Your mom was, I guess, the music choir. teacher. Yeah, yeah. Your mom was the music teacher, and this girl was in the choir with you back in Chicago, I think, many years ago. You have a son. <laughs> <laughs> She's seeking 17 years of child support. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think I got that Facebook, and she wanted to hear oh. a little bit of. Uh, uh, you did. Sh- you saw this on Facebook. Look the red nose reindeer had a very sound. And if you ever saw him, you would even say he glowed. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Hey, Rudolph, ooh, with your nose so bright. Come on, come on, come on, and got my sleigh tonight. Yeah, she made that yeah. request. Oh, yeah. I love this. You know that. what? That's that like should be. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, do you have a Christmas album? I am going to put one out. I don't have one out. Oh, I, ha- I have a band called the Nasty Delicious, and we got to do a Nasty Delicious <laughs> Christmas. Is that, on, is, that on Enri- is that part of Enrich Productions? I, that, that's the greatest. <laughs> I believe the mayor of Toronto is a very big fan of that. <laughs> he likes the Nasty Delicious. He's got plenty at home. <laughs> He's got a lot of Nasty Delicious. Oh so, uh, wow, that's really, uh, that's a real, uh, um, like, do you ever think of actually going totally towards musician singer? Yes, um, mm. I don't know if it's, it will be totally. It's always going to be some silliness somewhere. Because you are yourself. You're I funny am guy. myself. Right. But but I, I can definitely pull off a song or two with uh, some seriousness. Now uh, we are in, uh, uh, this whole town is alive with sports uh, fans this weekend because of the Seahawks. Yes, sir. I know that you're a, a Bears fan. Uh huh. You like uh, you like sports a lot. I, think. I do. How do, do you have any rituals uh, for watching? Do you? Uh, it, or do you get or do you get crazy while you're watching? Do you make are you loud? I, 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 or are you entertaining at a park? <laughs> I go to this karaoke bar, and they have uh, it's called Boardwalk Eleven. It's uh, right around uh, the way, right around the corner from where I live, and there are way louder people than me in there. So I just kind of use that time to be entertained. But uh, they have sports in there every Sunday. It's a, it's, it's a blast. So you're one of those because different people watch different ways. Like for example, Jody's husband. If a football game is on, he's like explosively he's commenting on them with a stupid decision, this or that. I like to watch. I like to just concentrate on the strategy of it. Um, no, I'm 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 good. I can just sit and watch. Yeah. And I'm more about the food. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm sitting <laughs> watching. Good like, time to eat. Well, like yeah. Joe, right? I yeah, I love the food. No, I, <laughs> speaking, speaking of sports, have you ever been confused with the other Craig Robinson with Michelle Obama's brother? As a matter of fact. I have, um, I was dating this girl, and and we we took a break, like you know, it was like oh, let's you know take a, a week break, and uh, on the sixth day of that break, she called me crying, and she was like, hey, "Can you talk?" And I was like, "Yeah, what's up?" She's like, "Who is Kelly Robinson?" I was like, "What? Who is Kelly Robinson?" I don't know. You don't know Kelly Robinson, and it turns out Craig Robinson had been married and divorced and he was married to a new lady, Kelly Robinson, and they were showing his stats 
not mine. And it was my picture and <laughs> oh, his. No. Yeah. His, he's married. He's got you know a few kids and stuff. And she was just devastated because somebody sent her the that st- the news yeah. story. You were hiding your and, secret life. And it's yeah, it's my it's my picture. So well, you yes, got two Craig Robinsons from Chicago. You're both you know very famous people. So I can see how it could happen. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. Like I tried to get into the inauguration. That didn't work. But uh, <laughs> well, you look a little different. He's a little taller. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. I don't like that. In the movie This Is the End, you do a song. Uh, a texter wants to hear it. You know which one. Take your panties off. Take your panties off. Take your panties off. Yeah. You know, we also sell these t-shirts, goodbyepanties.com. By the way, <laughs> you can go to it and uh, check it out. That's you stopped at just the right panties. spot. They were coming off, and then you went, boom, that's it. Oh, we're on radio. We're we can't go any further. Yeah. See, you know, people think take your panties off is just about the panties coming off physically. But really, it's about not only that, but it's about that moment where the panties come off. That moment can charge you in life, you know, where you need to get through something. Just take your panties off and, and, and you know, get your way through it. It should be, it's motivation. Spiritual panties. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. Release Incidentally, God's thong. In case you thought that was satire, goodbyepanties.com is up and it's working. Go check it just a second ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can get uh, tank tops, t shirts, uh, pink or black. Take your panties off. Take your panties off. Uh, listener says Before Macklemore was nationally famous, mm-hmm. you were a fan. True? You were at a show in Denver with uh, Macklemore. There's a picture of you. Maybe it was the other guy. Maybe it was a, a Michelle Obama's friend. I don't know. <laughs> was I? Yeah. Wow. There's a picture of you floating around. Gosh. Uh, I w- do you have it there? Uh, I don't have it. I it's could ask. It's probably Craig Robinson's. <laughs> Craig Robinson. Yeah, the Oregon State Beavers uh, coach, <laughs> Michelle's brother. <laughs> That's weird. That's awesome. All right. Now, while you're in Seattle, uh, you're at, uh, let's see, uh, this weekend, it's the Parlor Lounge tonight. And tomorrow, seven thirty and ten o'clock. Yes. Do you have a piano on stage? Yes. Oh, well, keyboard, this, is all, keyboard. this is a nice preview then. Exactly. This is this is uh, this is pretty much what I'm doing. Okay. And uh, do you do do you get around the city at all while you're here? Uh, I don't know. You're don't a quiet know. guy, aren't you? Yeah. Off stage. Sometimes it depends. Well, I mean, I know about the Bahamas thing, but I wasn't going to bring yeah. that up. Oh, well, thank you for that. <laughs> or the Culver City I, thing. I'm, I'm gonna gonna leave, the Culver no, City we're thing. Have you quieted? Have you quieted down? Uh, I I quiet down a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I quiet down a little bit when I'm uh you know off. I guess yeah, it's a nice quiet time in Seattle. No one knows where he is, but you can see him. <laughs> yeah, right. If you want to know where he is, you can see him at the parlor tonight, tomorrow, seven thirty and ten. Uh, love your stuff, Craig. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much for coming in, Craig Robinson. My pleasure. Uh, see him at the parlor for information. Go to bobrivers.com or parlorlive.com. All the best. Thank you.